the next feature which uh, we want to see is this the string literals can be used in select queries so let's see how we can do that so let me note it down on the top so that we have everything in place and I'll attach this codes in the final uh, presentation so what I'll do second part is string literals in select select query so for that uh, let me create a select option say just to play with it say select option p plant type t001 w works and then I have to give tables I just so this is not the right way to do but just for practice I am doing it tables type now it should be 4 right 4 and then um, say I will write select I will say valid plant valid plant from table t001 w into will give uh, inline declaration which we just learned earlier lv say valid plant where works in s plant say so if the plant oh there is some red signal what is that is saying s plant so let's give it s plant instead of p plant okay and again it says something host variable so again you have to give here at the red so it's very easy so so you're working in ADT once you start working in ADT you will not go to GUI because it it's so intuitive so you'll enjoy it so if psi sub uh, c not equal to zero then it is invalid pen. and if so you'll write say right say we'll say this is invalid plant so the select fails then means we'll give that is invalid plant all right so let me activate this activation failed so if you look at the bottom it says why it failed incorrect nesting so so if you see a select statement either we give and select or i think we can give select single also this will also work let's see now activate it all right it activated successfully so what did we do we just said that if if what you enter in the selection screen is valid then you will have this valid plant okay or else okay and even better so or else you can say that this plant is not valid and then you can say write write what do you want to write say i want to write lv valid validity okay we'll just say validity not valid plant we'll say validity and we'll say here validity all clear lv validity now activate it now let's let's run it all right let's run it so I'll give some random name and then try to execute it. This is invalid because um, because I gave a, a random uh, plant. So if I come back and I give some say if I do F4 and then I'll enter a valid plant. So I'll just execute here and then I give this number. So this has to be valid. Now I execute it. So this is a valid plant. So if you still confused, then we can debug it. All right, let's let's try to debug that. You know how to put a debugger? Just double click on the left hand corner, and then we'll execute it. So I do F8. All right, and then so we give a valid plant, and then I execute it. It stops at the debugger. So if you see the plant here, it is valid 4047 and if the you check the validity it is still blank because our debugger has stopped here let's see the size over see it's zero now i do a f6 so still i'll check my size over zero so validity has to be 
valid plan so valid plan from this is put so this is the literal which you can directly put in a select statement and save it right this is a new thing which you have in web 7.4 now I execute now in order to see the result output I have to go to the ABAP perspective I'll go here and see a valid plan hope this is clear so don't worry we'll again do the similar exercises in GUI in the second set and we'll take a better example so that will give you clarity so there will be repetition and I hope you will be perfect by the end of the course